Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We have f of f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1. And what is f of 0? This is a composite function because we have a function in another function. And at this side, we have a quadratic because of the power of 2. And how can we get f of 0? So this looks crazy. And we are going to be solving this step by step. So let's get into it. If you consider the solutions. From the given questions, we have f of f of x. Suppose I introduce another f. The whole of f of f of x, it gives us x squared minus x plus 1. Introducing another f, we have f of f of x equals f of x squared minus x plus 1. And when I open this parenthesis here, we are going to have this as f and this is squared. So it means we consider this as f squared of x minus f of x then plus f of 1. And f of 1 here is a constant, so we just leave it as 1. Then from this, we have f of f of x, which is given as x squared minus x plus 1 from the above. Let's replace it. We have f of x squared minus x plus 1 equals f squared of x minus f of x plus 1. Then, so at this stage, since we need f of 0, suppose I let at this stage, if I replace x here to be equals if I let x equals equals 1, then we change this to 1, that is f of 1 squared minus 1 plus 1 equals f squared of 1 minus f of 1 plus 1. Next, we have f of 1 squared, that is 1. So, plus 1 minus 1 cancelled, and we have only 1, equals f squared of 1 minus f of 1 plus 1. Here we have f of 1. This is f of 1. Let's take f of 1 to the other side. Everything here becomes 0. And here we have f squared of 1 minus f of 1 minus f of 1 plus 1 equals 0. Then, we have f squared of 1 minus f of 1 minus f of 1. That gives us minus 2 f of 1. Then, plus 1 equals 0. So, this looks like a quadratic. Yes, it's a quadratic. And, suppose I let this to be like a squared minus here is, we have this as a, so we call this one 2a plus 1. So equals 0 is the same thing as calling this a minus 1 raised to power 2 equals 0. When we expand a minus 1 raised to power 2, we get a squared minus 2a plus 1. So by comparing it with what we have, we are going to have instead of f squared plus f squared of 1 minus 2f of 1 plus 1 we consider this as f of 1 minus 1 then all raised to power 2 equals 0 and by taking the square root of both sides so we have f of 1 minus 1 equals plus or minus 0 but plus or minus 0 here it still gives us f of 0 so which means we don't need that plus or minus we just write 0. 
So this is showing that our f of 1 here equals 1. Also, we have to find f of 0. So what we do is we change. We let x equals 0 to get f of 0 as well. And then we do the proper verification. So you are just coming to this channel. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if I let x to be equals 0. So here, we change every single x to 0. And we have f of 0 squared minus 0 plus 1 equals f squared of 0 minus f of 0 plus 1. So here gives us f of 0 cancel 0 and we have f of 1 equals f squared of 0 minus f of 0. Then here is plus 1. But look here. What is f of 1 that we got? So we got f of 1 here as, as 1. So which means we have to replace that. So by replacing f of 1 here with 1, so we have 1 equals f squared of 0 minus f of 0 plus 1. 1 cancelled 1. And we have f squared of 0 minus f of 0 equals 0. If I factor out f of 0, in the bracket, we have f of 0 minus 1 equals 0. So this is showing that we are going to have f of 0 equals to 0, or we have f of 0 equals 1. These are the two things that we got. But we have to verify the one that is the right answer because f of 0 equals to 0 and f of 0 equals to 1 are two different things. And initially, we got f of 1 equals to 1. That one is just to get these two functions, f of 0 equals to 0 and f of 0 equals to 1. So how can we verify this? It's very simple. So I come back to where we got these two. So we try and substitute this and see we want that it's going to be equal. So in the first one, we have to check given that f of f of 0 equals x squared minus x plus 1. So I've changed this x to 0. So let me leave it as f of x. So if we change x to be equal to 0, we are going to have f of f of 0 equals everything here equals 1. But f of 0 here, it gives us 0. And if 0 here is not equal to 0, which means we have to reject this. And similarly, if we check for the second one, for f of 0 equals to 1, we have f of 0 here equals, uh, we have this as f of 1 equals, or this also equals 1. But f of 1 as well has been verified with 1. That is 1 equals to 1. And this is the correct one for f of 0. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.